is how you can practice and play along to any of your favorite songs with one guitar in one tuning. So it's called pitch shifting and what you heard there on the guitar was we started off in drop A, which is the standard tuning with the low string and dropped. And we dropped all the way to drop F in automation. So the plugin was going down in semitones, which are the semitones you see on the neck on the scale here. So semitones are just the notes. So we dropped all those notes and we automated it all through the plugin. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and get that set up. So you can do this to practice along to your favorite songs, or if you wanna play some songs with some octave drops. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up and get started with pitch shifting. All you're gonna need is your door, your guitar that's set up in your standard tuning that you choose, and a pitch shifting plugin. So a few of the plugins, there are some paid and free ones. So in this video, I'm gonna be using the Neural DSP Petrucci plugin, also with the Stock Reaper Pitch Shifter plugin as well. But there are some other options you can choose from pitch shifting. So there's Neural DSP Gojira. There's also a pitch shifter from THU, which I've used, which is pretty good as well. And Line 6 Helix Polycap, which is apparently pretty good. I haven't tried it out myself, but I've heard good things about it. And there's also a Guitar Rig's Pitch Pedal as well. Some of them perform better than others, depending how you use them, especially when it's better for the single note stuff where there's less going on where if there's more chords and more notes, it makes it a lot harder for the pitch shifter to get an accurate result. So you may get some artifacts, but this is not for perfect recording. This is basically if you wanna play along to your favorite songs and practice and learn, and it's a really good option to use pitch shifters in that way. There's also hardware options, which are the Digitech Whammy DT pitch shifter, and there's the Digitech drop pedal, which is the single version of that Digitech Whammy DT pedal, but that's all in hardware. But we're talking about software in today's video. I have a session in my DAW and you can see it looks a little bit overwhelming here with a lot of different things going on and a lot of stuff on the screen, but that's just the automation. I'm gonna walk you through how to get it done from a blank session here. So I'm gonna walk you through it so don't be overwhelmed. So what I have is a session with six different tunings that are changing. Some of them are within the song here, like this song here has some octave drops and some other things going on as well. That's why there's some extra automation on this section here. And this is where it comes in handy to automate these things. So I've got some bypass effects. As you can see, this one here is bypassed on the side here. These are all the automations that are currently active on my guitar chain channel here. So I've got the actual pitch shifter, which I'm using this one here, which is the bottom one. You can see that at the moment where it's selected, it's actually at negative three. So going from drop, a all the way to drop F, which would be negative three seven tones. And if we go to another song, we can see this pink line. If it goes up here, you can see it's changed to two. So that's plus two semitones for this song here. And that is gonna give us a drop B tuning. So this is where it's super helpful, where you can just press play. There's a bunch of songs in your session and you can practice along. You don't have to tweak the settings and change them as you go along. But we'll talk about automation later on, but first we're gonna set up a session and get our pitch shifter. So if you just wanna play along to one track, we can get you set up with a pitch shifter in a session. So, all right, so you wanna open up a blank session on your DAW. You wanna add two tracks here, one for our backing track and one for our guitar. So I wanna make sure that our backing track has the right tempo. So in Reaper, I'm not sure how you do it in other doors, but you can go to view up here and you can go to tempo envelope and you can actually see all the tempo changes that you need. So this song just has one tempo and it's at 220. So I'm gonna paste in our track so that's our backing track added here so now the first thing we need to do with our signal chain with the pitch shifters it always has to be the very first thing in the signal chain otherwise if you add a pitch shifter before any amps or distortion it's going to get all muddy and not sound good so the very first thing we need to add is our pitch shifter so whatever pitch shifter you're using there's the reaper one here which is called pitch shifter 2 but i'm going to be using neural dsp the archetype Petrucci. So I'm gonna open it up here as you can see on the screen. So with this one, I'm just gonna turn everything off except for the transpose. So that's the pitch shifter there, that transpose. So what I can do is just turn all these off, but if you're just using a pitch shifter, it will just be the plugin. So that's the first thing in our signal chain. The next thing we need to add is our amp. And for the amp, I'm just gonna be using STL Tone Hub, and I'm gonna use one of the presets from the North Lane Alien Pack 
because I like the sounds on that one there. So now we have our pitch shifter added and it's currently at zero transpose, which means there's no pitch shifting at all. So we can tweak it here. As you can see, it goes down or up and go 12 down or 12 up. So if we wanted to go to drop G sharp, we could drop one semitone there and then we could set it like that. But we're gonna automate it for our session. So if you were just playing through one song, so this song here is actually in drop B that we're using, we could just punch it up two semitones and we'd be good to play in drop B. So if we wanted to add an extra song with a different tuning, or we wanted to have a song that had multiple tuning changes within the song, what we could do, I'm gonna add a second song to the session here. So we're gonna add a tempo for this one, which is gonna be at 135. That's gonna be our tempo change for our next song. So here we've added our second song, but currently everything's still in drop B, so we need to automate it. So to do that, in your DAW, you need to go to the envelopes for the automation. So for this one here, if we go to guitar, which is gonna have our automation. In Reaper, it's called trim here. If you click this button, it says track envelopes slash automation. So if we click that in Reaper, we can open up our automations here. And depending on how many plugins you have, there'd be a huge list if you have the more plugins you have. But the good thing about being the pitch shifter at being the start of the chain, you can see here, Petrucci here is at the very start of this list. And if we go down, it's only a couple down there to see transpose semitones. So we can click that one and it's gonna arm all of these ones here. And you can see this pink line has just come into the session here with the transpose option for us and currently set to zero. So this little dot here. So if we hover over it, you can see it's zero here. So if we click on this little dot and on Reaper, if you right click it, you can go to set point value and we could change this to two. So if we put a two in, that's gonna raise it up two semitones. So if we open up the plugin, we'll notice it's set to two now. So if we try and drag it anywhere else, it's just gonna go back to two because the automation's set now and we can't change it unless we change it through automation. You can also drag this up and down. You can see the number's changing, it's going negative now. So we're dropping in semitones all the way to 12. So what I like to do is I like to put the point at the start and at the end of where the changes will be. So this song's now all in drop B and it won't change, it won't ramp down or anything. But then if we go to our next song, which is in drop G sharp, so we can click at the start and the end of the track there as well. We can click on the start of this one, right click, set value, and we go to negative one to make it drop G. So going from drop A to one semitone down and go to the end of this one, at the end set the same value to negative one as well. And you'll see a little ramp here as it's going down from drop B to drop G. So when we see here, when we open up the plugin, you can see that when we're on the track here, it's on two and you can see it over here as well in the automation. And then when it plays and it goes over to the next section, it's gonna to go to negative one. So it's gonna go up and now it's in drop G sharp. So you can do a lot of other things here like this Spirit Box song here has a lot of different changes here. That's why I've got this octave guitar EQ and the pitch shifter, that's doing the octave drop. So if I open up the signal chain for this one, it's gonna look a little bit different, but similar. So this chain here is similar. It's got the same archetype pitch shifter that I've got here and it has an amp and I've just added some EQs just to kind of clean some things up. But what I've put in front of our pitch shifter, our first pitch shifter, I've automated this pitch shifter too, which is part of Reaper. It's like one of their stock plugins. I like to use this one because in this pitch shifter here, it only goes to 12. You can see 12 there and then 12 across there. So if I need to drop an octave and I'm already in a lower tuning, I can't actually get that same effect. So I use this pitch shifter in front of that one. And here it's see it's at negative one. So this pitch shift octaves. So it's a nice feature here. You can go up to 12 on this one as well. And you can also do it in just the octaves. So you could use this just as a pitch shifter. If you use this section here, you can actually just use the semitones of the pitch shifter. So that's how I'm using it in this one. I'm just automating it when those octave drops happen and this will just turn off and it'll go back to our normal pitch shifter here. So if we were adding it to this session, we'll just go into here and we'll look up for pitch shifter in Reaper. We go pitch shifter two and we'll add this one to the very front. And to automate it, all we need to do again is go up to the guitar and hit the envelopes for the trim slash automation. And we can see at the top here, we have a bypass effect, which we can activate that one. And we can also activate our octaves and if we wanted just to use the semitones as well, we could activate that as well. And you can see now we've added all those extra ones for our pitch shifter, these three here. 
So if we wanted to add a octave drop, what we could do is we have the bypass effect here. So we could set that to off. So now it's all off now. Say we wanted to add an octave effect just for this section here. We could click with the pen. So on Reaper, it's just control and click. So what we can do is we can drag this first part down and you can see here, it's currently set to bypass. And then when it hits into this blank section here, it goes to normal. So we're gonna see it turn on. So you can see it gets ticked and then it unticks for our pitch shifter. So that means we can add our octave effect. So we could go to the next section here, which is this octave pitch. So what we can do if we want to drop, so we can click on this one here and we can right click set point value and we could just click negative one. And you can see it's changed the pitch octave adjust there by negative one. And you can also see it here as well. So you wanna change this end one as well so it doesn't ramp. Set value point, we go negative one. So now if we play some of our guitar, it's gonna be in drop B currently right now. So if I press play from this playhead and you'll see it will change and I'll get that octave drop from that plugin and you can watch it on screen how it works with the automation. So that's how you can use pitch shifters and automation to play along to your favorite tracks and songs. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.